let's jump into this third and last best of two as ah, spawning in the top left side we have none other than the ultralisk it's Heroku. and for team hyper one we have kenosua in the bottom right side is our red protoss and let's go the cranky ducklings have arrived thank you very much for the raid lights hope you had a great cast thank you thank you so much we have a wonderful 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 uh series it's already over kind of oh my god okay while this is happening let's shout out the cranky ducklings like if i wouldn't uh typo the thing there we go thank you so much for the raid sorry about the alt tab Codes, thank you very much for the follow as well. You don't see the game? What do you mean you don't see the game? You should be seeing the game. I just had to... Yeah, all games are going to be played. I just had to alt-tab, you know? I just have to give a quick shout-out to... to the Cranky Ducklings. Be sure to check them out. There's a lot of good casting and a lot of nice... Uh... There's a lot of nice... Starcraft being casted over there. It's pretty much one of my go-to channels when I I'm at work and I, I have nothing special to do. Oh, I'm at work and I have no work. <laughs> Sounds a bit interesting. But yeah, it's one of my, my favorite channels to just hang out, you know, watch some Starcraft, just do whatever. And they kind of align uh, pretty much all the time. So that's also one thing that we need to kind of take into consideration. The Zealot is actually going to uh, be really, really annoying here for her Ukraine. I'm not sure how many cancels we can actually afford, but one of these is going to uh, finish for sure. Now the Zealot is going down. There's a queen here a wild proxy indeed oh and there's going to be is that a range of no it's not in range of a cannon but the forge is going to be in range of that queen and now the spine is going to move forward oh that cannon is going to be in range of that spine crawler and i'm not sure if you want to okay there we go i was gonna say you really want to like position it a bit back had a lot of cheese today that's great i mean cheese makes it a bit more interesting right I'm not sure how much do you enjoy casting um, cheese games. I certainly enjoy the ideas behind it. Obviously, some of them are, are wilder ones. Uh, but it's actually quite nice to see how, how things unfold. And yeah, it's pretty much... Uh, it comes down to execution, of course. I had games where I remember it was like it was over in like five minutes but it was like a 20 minute uh, snooze fest after that but this one looks like it's gonna be a wild one as well as there's a couple of stalkers there's a couple of uh, cannons over here but the cyber core is in danger right now and there's gonna be more and more stuff coming down the stargate is going to be um I'm not sure is this going to be enough though I mean, you can just make some spore crawlers, but there's not going to be any confirmation. Once that cyber core falls, it's going to be quite difficult. Okay, so this is a bit of a wild, wild situation. One, wait, that was a cancel and that was a another spine crawler. And there's still no gas. Uh, I wouldn't mind if Heroku would try to transition out of this, but obviously this is not that easy. Okay, finally we're going to have the swarm unleashed. And now the queen is also going to move forward. Potentially has a couple transfuses, but it's in danger. It's going to go down. The queen is going to go down, and that's going to be all the end here. The void ray is going to uh, come out, but that is not going to be in time. Looks like it's going to be you know, so tapping out first. And void ray spawning wait what did i say i said can also tapping out no wait wait a second wait a second why did i say can also tapping out heroku taps out 
putting a point on the board for Team Hyper One. It is Kenosua. And trying to close it out with a bang. Hannafeld flopped on the first uh, first game. Well, we have the Ultralisk, Le French Row. I'm thinking if there's any any other nicknames, none other than Heroku. Also, for some reason, he's still in the BBEX, the Bing Bong Exports clan, on the North American server. Or sorry, the Americas. And it was a, a 15 hatch. So I'm curious what this is gonna be. Probably just uh denying the the block versus the, the probe, the hatch block. Yeah. <laughs> He's he has double personality uh shenanigans going on. user with nothing to lose <laughs> yeah by the way when i saw um when i saw the what you call it uh rat is a station being the map that was picked by by heroku i was like okay this this kind of reminds me of of something that i also casted here on this channel between i'm trying to figure out who the protoss was but on the platinum hero side it was aras also another french player uh what a coincidence right these french players just love playing the knight of Swarhost. so yeah that was my first thought when i saw this selling zerg guys by day inserting knight in your mineral eyes at night <laughs> uh, let's go Malzy fam, we need to we need to get SRL into every single stream. The memes will be non-stop and high quality. At least for now they are, so. Sorry. Ooh, hold on a second. That's that's a 230. That's a 230 uh lair. We're going to have uh Stargate against this, and I mean that's gonna allow a lot of scouting and everything. I'm not sure what this is gonna be. We'll find out after after the the lair finishes because this is looking quite interesting. I wouldn't be surprised if this was like uh, a Midas. I would really not be surprised if this was a Midas. Not with swarm host, but like regular Midas. As this Overlord is gonna move on, this map is quite tricky. I don't think this is a wall. Yeah, I, I also saw that and I'm pretty sure this is not a wall. Uh, it's quite tricky to wall on this map. I mean, this pylon is obviously a bit a bit ahead than it should be. I tried to wall on this with Protoss and honestly, I, I didn't enjoy it. I think I also died uh, to a Link Flood or something. When I, I decided like, ah, oh, let's just bust out the Protoss on the new maps. Let's see how it is, you know? After that, I wasn't uh, in the mood to actually play Terran, so I was like, screw that. <laughs> We're not going to try the third race that I'm also the worst at. Okay, the Void Ray is going to secure kill onto that Overlord on the left side. Now it's going to move on to the right side, and this Nidus might just actually... Oh, Heroku needs to be careful. He needs to be careful. He's going to get the Overlord spotted. Oh... Okay. You must construct additional pilots. Okay, Kenoso is going to see this overlord and it's gonna go for it, I'm pretty sure. Where's the void ray? Adept is going to move across the map at least halfway. But yeah, this overlord is gonna go down and Ooh, maybe drop some Nidus. Cannot drop a Nidus. There's a swarm host as well, like um I'm not exactly sure. Do I like this off of 39 workers? I'm I can't say I do. 
this link is going to allow for for an itis to be put down obviously this is one of the the more, more common spots on this map to to put down an itis so from here you can actually go into into the natural and go into the third as well you can kind of kind of snipe it honestly i i'm just not a fan of uh not a fan of like low economy stuff that's probably why I'm not a fan of this. Well, at least for now. Okay, Stalker is being worked in, but that's not going to be enough. That Stalker is going to go down, and that's 12 workers going down. Already, it looks a lot better than uh, I expected for Heroku. Mordor is going to spot this, and he's going to take down... He's going to take down this uh, Nidus, right? Yeah, he's going to turn back and just take it down. Does he see the link? Doesn't see the link. Okay, now the queens have shown up and that forgery is not going to survive. Brilliant move on the side of Heroku and we're going to have a Nidus on the top side. There is no base here, so this is going to be kind of a bamboozle if he just fires the Locust here. It's going to lose a lot of time here. Swarm hosts are... Some of them have reloaded already. I mean, these, these look like uh, fresh ones, right? At least they, they look like it. Um, he has spores at home and queens as well, at least one queen. Okay, a couple of queens are sitting here. There's a single queen defending this Nidus. Uh, probably one of the queens on the, the side of the, the swarm host. This third base is going to go down. There's no shield battery, so there's nothing to defend this. Oh, but Heroku is actually... Okay, he's going to target Fighter Nexus. Maybe he can... No, he's not going to be able to actually snipe it. But the next round is going to snipe it for sure. <laughs> Seven OVs. Kind of like uh, a new laser move, if you ask me. Okay, I'm not sure if this is going to achieve anything. I mean, these Locusts are going to... Lose half of their lifetime just by flying okay but this might just be quite okay it's not going to be able to do anything more than just taking down the shield but battery overcharge is going to be popped so that is something and now Heroku is just constantly keeping up the pressure Kanosu is falling apart a tad bit more swarm hosts on the way that's 90 swarm hosts that's gonna be 24 swarm hosts how do you even transition out of this that is the question do you transition out of this? Is this an all in? So many questions. Yeah, I also I also think that was too far away. And obviously the landing was also not the uh, not the cleanest. Like he waited so long. Uh, I think he should have just tried to take down whatever buildings because it's free units. Okay, one more void ray is going to try and just do something about this this adept is obviously not going to do anything whatsoever oh no that's gonna be constant swarm host harassment and he's going up to hive so it is going to be some kind of a transition we have an evil chamber coming down maybe we're gonna see vipers the vipers okay uh it's gonna lose these swarm hosts the three colossi are going to be uh, enough to actually deal with this for sure there's a couple of swarm hosts that reloaded but honestly i would want to see him i would want to see him just uh wait for all of them to reload okay that's a lot of them it's gonna send in the the third base uh send it into the third base Rather. Okay, he needs to be careful. I mean, uh, you can actually snipe the swirl, the locusts while they while they fly with anti-air. Okay, one more Nidus is coming up. It's gonna help with spreading the creep as well. I'm not exactly I'm, I'm not exactly sure what we we put down the night is for that's extra gas extra minerals so yeah I mean Heroku has everything but problem is now he's getting attacked 
what do you do against this you need to keep swarm rooms because that's the backbone of your army and he's going to keep them at home i mean he's going to transfer them home that's great he's gonna oh my god if these reload if these reload oh no the nidus is coming up the changeling was used properly oh that's a widely missed disruptor shot honestly for some reason i thought uh one of them was like uh gonna hit now the police are in danger the swarmers are going to have to unload their locusts and that's gonna be a dead disruptor but this is a lot of a lot of uh, work to do for Heroku as these free units are yes they're free units but they need to snipe something otherwise it is going to be in quite a difficult uh, situation for Heroku and honestly it feels like Heroku is just dead unless he just snipes out of those uh, Colossi because Colossus the uh, Colossus is uh, pretty good against this even against queens and everything he tries to transfuse but that's not going to be enough three queens at a time whereas the locusts the locusts have not been reloaded yet into those swarm holes the swarm is now will try to drop them it's going to try his best to actually hang on to this game but yeah can also actually survive very nice i think there was a couple of missed uh opportunities for heroku is going to try and go on top of those Colossi, but it's not going to be able to actually snipe anything whatsoever to speak of. Now the swarmers are going to get sniped. And honestly, Kanosu well played. The only player a bit too late. Well, they say dollar too short and day too late. That's pretty much the case over here. Coaches are not going to do anything. And Heroku has to tap out.